very good morning to all in last classes we have studied about our dc motor basics basically uh, voltage equation and what is back emf something like that now we are going to study about torque and speed equations of a dc motor we are going to derive torque different types of torque in and present in dc motor and what is the speed on dc motor okay so what is actually basically torque is represented by the letter t and it is a turning or twisting moment of force about an axis or particular axis in that varuna or turning moment of force in aanu nammal torque ennu parayunnathu so torque is defined as it's a twisting moment of force about an axis okay so it is a product of force into radius with this force act adayad just consider a pulley of radius having r meter r meter and which is acted upon by a circumferential force f newton okay force unit is newton and r is the radius in meter okay so or particular radius r ulla or pulley or drum na consider kiya adile namma circumference il act cheyina or force um consider cheyidu which is magnitude f and the product of this force into radius will give you the torque in newton meter okay so torque is represented as t is equal to f into r newton meter okay and the n is in the speed in revolution per second that means when a force acted upon on the circumference of a um, our drum which produces a torque at a twisting moment of force to the pulley and the pulley started to rotate in a speed at a speed of n rps n rps means revolution per second speed represented in revolution per second or revolution per minute rps or rpm ilana like represent here then what is work done by the force f in one revolution work done by f uh, by the force f in one revolution na chanda or revolution il venna force into distance aayirikkum adinde work done nu parayunnathu namukku force and the magnitude ariyam it is f and the distance means it is the complete one rot rotation of this drum that means it is 2 pi r is the distance so f into 2 pi r joule is the work done by the force f in one revolution okay then now we are going to find out power developed power developed is work done per second and as a speed is n rps so just multiply this with the speed then you will get the power developed f into 2 pi r joule into speed in ampere nps rps revolution per second la speed oda multiply cheya that is f into r into 2 pi n namukku edala edina f into 2 pi r ennalladil ninnu f into r na mathram inga eduthu then 2 pi n what is f into r we have already defined that torque is f into r so we can substitute instead of f into r as t t is the torque so we can write the power developed is p is equal to 2 pi n t watts power can be represented on watts and power developed is e 2 pi n varnal endana that is angular velocity it's an angular velocity omega in radian per second so we can write instead of 2 pi n omega so p is equal to omega t watts if speed in in rpm just the revolution per second la n nu nammal assume cheyadu the speed is n revolution per second to convert it into revolution per minute divided by 60 so 2 pi n by 60 therefore power developed in armature is equal to 2 pi n t by 60 watts okay so the equation for torque one uh, and explain to you what is actually a torque generally parayavane it is a twisting moment of force about an axis namm or pulley or drum ne consider ya having radius r and on the circumference of that drum a force is acting on it then what will be the torque and the 
when a force acting on its surface it started to rotate at a speed n revolution per second okay so f into r theta then we will get the torque of that drum or pulley so from that we are going to find out what is the work done by that force f in one revolution what is revolution learn by the work done at the end calculate and we'll end up that force into 2 pi r change to pi r is the distance which covered in one revolution so f into 2 pi r joule is the work done by that force f now we are going to find out power developed power developed is the work done per second at a speed of n revolution per second so power developed can be represented by mathematically as f into 2 pi r into n r p s if it is from this f into r common i get kaanengi namukku ariyam f into r in or equation namukku ariyam in terms of two torque that is t into 2 pi n namale just torque in power power ne torque in terms il ottu maatiyana equation appo 2 pi n t is the power now what is to um, what is 2 pi n angular velocity 2 pi n or na angular velocity and so we can represent it as omega radian per second so we can write power developed as omega t any rpm la na normally nammal practical aite uh, speed measure ya so we can convert that n s into rpm value so just divided by 60 then you will get omega is equal to 2 pi n by 60 so we can write power developed as 2 pi n t by 60 watts So then, a power developed, or from this torque and equation, and then 60 by 2 pi into n into power. Um, okay. So now this is the torque equation and power equation. Now we are going to find out armature torque. Torque developed in armature. Okay. Torque developed in armature is represented as T A. T A is another representation. and speed we taken speed of the motor in revolution per second okay then power developed in armature is 2 pi n into t a watts power developed in the equation nammal varnu 2 pi n t just armature torque ayidu kondu nammal adine t a nu represent cheyyam okay so power developed in armature is 2 pi n into armature torque t a so we know that mechanical power developed in armature endanu നമ്മൾ ഓൾറെഡി ഡിഫൈൻ ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് പവർ ഡെവലപ്ഡ് ഇൻ ആർമേച്ചർ ഇസ് ബാക്ക് എം എഫ് ഇൻ ആർമേച്ചർ കറൻ ഇ ബി ഐ എ സോ ദ സെയിം ആസ് ദ പവർ ഡെവലപ്ഡ് ഇൻ ആർമേച്ചർ ഇൻ ടേംസ് ഓഫ് ടോർക്ക് സോ വി ക്യാൻ ഇക്വേറ്റ് ദീസ് ടു ഇക്വേഷൻസ് ഇക്വേറ്റിംഗ് ഇക്വേഷൻ വൺ ആൻഡ് ടു വി ക്യാൻ ടു പൈ എൻ ടി എ ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ഇ ബി ഇൻ ടു ഐ എ എന്ന് റെപ്രസെന്റ് ചെയ്യാം വോട്ട് ഇസ് ഇ ബി ബാക്ക് എം എഫ് ഇൻ്റെ ഇക്വേഷൻ എന്ന ബാക്ക് എം എഫ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ നമുക്കറിയാം ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ ഇൻഡ്യൂസ് ടി എം എഫ് ഇൻ ദ ആർമേച്ചർ വൈൻഡിങ് വിച്ച് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ആൻഡ് ഓപ്പോസിറ്റ് ടു വിച്ച് ദ ഡയറക്ഷൻ നോട്ട് ഈക്വൽ ദ ഡയറക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ഇ ബി ഇസ് ഓപ്പോസിറ്റ് ടു ദ അപ്ലൈഡ് വോൾട്ടേജ് സോ ഇ ബിനെ നമ്മൾ ഇൻഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് ഓർ ജനറേറ്റഡ് ഇ എം എഫ് ആയതുകൊണ്ട് വി ക്യാൻ റൈറ്റ് ദ ഇക്വേഷൻ എസ് ഫൈവ് പി എൻ ഇസഡ് ബൈ എ വോൾട്സ് അല്ലേ സോ ജസ്റ്റ് സബ്സ്റ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഇ ബി ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ഫൈവ് പി എൻ ഇൻ ടു ഇസഡ് ബൈ ഐ on this equation so 2 pi n t a is equal to 5 pn into z i a by i a from this you can write the equation for torque armature uh, torque developed in armature t a is equal to 2 pi na right side loaded ka 1 by 2 pi 5 into p i a into z by a so 1 by 2 pi is equal to 0.1595 p i a into z by a if the speed in rps ഈ ടു പൈ എൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ആർ പി എസിലാണ് നമ്മൾ എടുത്ത് ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇൻ ആർ പി എം ആയിരിക്കണമെങ്കിൽ എന്തായിരിക്കണം എൻ ബൈ സിക്സ്റ്റി വൺസ് ട്രെയിൻ സോ സിക്സ്റ്റി ബൈ എൻ വരും സോ സിക്സ്റ്റി ബൈ ടു പൈ സോ ഇഫ് സ്പീഡ് ഇസ് ഇൻ ആർ പി എം ദൻ യു ഹാവ് ടു കൺസിഡർ സിക്സ്റ്റി ഓൾസോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് നയൻ പോയിന്റ് ഫൈവ് ഫൈവ് സിക്സ്റ്റി ബൈ ടു പൈ ഇസ് നയൻ പോയിന്റ് ഫൈവ് 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 പി ഐ എ ഇൻ ടു ജെഡ് ബൈ എ ഫ്രം ദിസ് യു ക്യാൻ നോട്ട് ദാറ്റ് ആർ മീച്ചർ ടോർക്കേഴ്സ് proportional to flux and armature current number of poles is a fixed one number of armature conductors and number of parallel path are constant so we can say torque is directly proportional to flux and armature current so armature torque in the equation is done now or namak ariyam there will be different types of motors are the series motor uh, as similar to dc 
ജനറേറ്റർ സീരീസ് ജനറേറ്റർ സീരീസ് ജനറേറ്റർ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അതുപോലെ ഷൺ ജനറേറ്റർ സിമിലർലി ദർ വിൽ ബി സീരീസ് മോട്ടോർ ആൻഡ് ഷൺ മോട്ടോർ സോ വാട്ട് വിൽ ബി ദ ടോർക്ക് ഇൻ സീരീസ് ആൻഡ് ഷൺ മോട്ടോർ എന്ന് നോക്കാം ഓക്കെ ഹിയർ യു ക്യാൻ സീ ദിസ് ദ ഫീൽഡ് വൈൻഡിങ് കണക്റ്റഡ് ഇൻ സീരീസ് വിത്ത് ദ ആർമേച്ചർ വൈൻഡിങ് ദെൻ ദ മോട്ടോർ ഇസ് കോൾഡ് ആ സീരീസ് മോട്ടോർ ഓക്കെ and we know the armature torque equation as ta is equal to 1 by 2 by 5 pia into z by a this is the torque equation we have derived here alle ee or equation ne eduka then for a dc nammal parna from the torque equation it is find that armature torque developed is proportional to phi ia ee rendu phi and ia mathram aanu idil or variable quantity ullathu baaki ellam constant values aanu so we can write as torque is proportional to flux into armature current then dc series motor consider the dc series motor and here the field winding and armature winding are connected in series so what the current flowing through the field winding the same amount of current will flows through our armature winding also that is if is equal to i a ana so what in the flux produced in this field the flux produced in the field winding is directly proportional to armature current before magnetic saturation uh, when it reaches magnetic saturation it become constant ഫ്ലക്സ് കോൺസ്റ്റന്റ് ആയി മാറും അല്ലെ ഒരു പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ വാല്യൂ അറ്റൻഡ് ചെയ്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ പിന്നെ ഫ്ലക്സ് കോൺസ്റ്റന്റ് ആയി മാറും ബട്ട് നൗ ദ ഫ്ലക്സ് ഇസ് പ്രപ്പോർഷണൽ ടു ആർ മേച്ചർ കറണ്ട് ആയിരിക്കും സോ വി ക്യാൻ റൈറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ആസ് ഫൈവ് പ്രപ്പോർഷണൽ ടു ഐ എ ഫൈവ്ക്ക് പകരം അപ്പൊ നമുക്ക് ഐ എ എന്ന് എഴുതാം സോ വി ക്യാൻ റൈറ്റ് ഇ എ ഇസ് പ്രപ്പോർഷണൽ ടു സബ്സ്റ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഓഫ് ഫൈവ് ഐ എ ഐ എ ഇൻ ടു ഐ എ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഐ എ സ്ക്വയർ ഇറ്റ് ദിസ് കണ്ടീഷൻ ഇസ് സാറ്റിസ്ഫൈഡ് ഓൺലി ബിഫോർ ദ മാഗ്നറ്റിക് സാച്ചുറേഷൻ ഓക്കെ so for a dc series motor what happen torque is proportional to i a square if it is a dc shunt motor shunt motor means the field winding is connected in parallel to the armature then it is called as dc shunt motor so the field winding and armature are connected in parallel so field current flux and hence the flux uh, phi field current if and the flux phi produced in this is practically constant that means in a shun motor flux is constant irikum series motor la the current in armature current in proportional irikum but shun motor la field winding parallel aite connect cheyidirikkunnathu kond flux is not in, uh, depending on the armature current it's almost constant so phi enna or value nammal constant aite edukkunnu so we can remove this also as a constant so for the condition for dc shun motor flux become constant so ta is proportional to i a so remember these two points if it is um series motor if it is a series motor armature torque is proportional to i a square if it is a shun motor armature torque is proportional to i a now there are another torque which is named as shaft torque ആർമേച്ചറിൽ പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്ന കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ടോർക്കും ഒരിക്കലും നമുക്ക് ഹോൾ വാല്യൂ നമുക്ക് ഷാഫ്റ്റിന് ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് ആയിട്ട് കിട്ടില്ല ഒരു കുറച്ച് പാർട്ട് അവിടെ ലോസ് ആയിട്ട് പോകുന്നുണ്ട് അപ്പോൾ ആ ലോസ് മൈനസ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് വരുന്ന റിമെയിനിങ് പാർട്ട് മാത്രമായിരിക്കും നമുക്ക് യൂസ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്നത് സോ അതാത്ത് യൂസ്ഫുൾ ടോർക്കിനെയാണ് നമ്മൾ ഷാഫ് ടോർക്ക് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സോ ദ ആർമേച്ചർ ടോർക്ക് ടി എ ഇസ് നോട്ട് അവൈലബിൾ ഫോർ യൂസ്ഫുൾ വർക്ക് ബിക്കോസ് Uh, the whole of the armature torque not full of the armature torque um, the whole armature torque ta will not available for useful work because certain percentage of it is required for supplying iron and frictional losses in the motor so after supplying iron and frictional losses the remaining part is coming to the shaft the torque which is available at the shaft for doing useful work is known as shaft torque so always remember armature torque will be higher than shaft torque alle adil or part loss loss nu contribute cheyadane shesha remaining part ana shaft torque aitu kittana so shaft torque is always less than armature torque so the output power of the motor we know that p is equal to 2 pi nt so for getting actual output we have to substitute shaft torque here as ടി എ അല്ല കൊടുക്കേണ്ടത് ടി എ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് നമുക്ക് ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് ആയിട്ട് കിട്ടില്ല ടി എസ് എച്ച് ആണ് കൺസിഡർ ചെയ്യേണ്ടത് സോ ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് പവർ ഓഫ് ദ മോട്ടോർ പി എസ് ടു പൈ എൻ ടി എസ് എച്ച് വോട്ട്സ് വെർ സ്പീഡ് എൻ എസ് ഇൻ ആർ പി എസ് നൗ വി ആർ കൺസിഡറിംഗ് എൻ എസ് ഇൻ ആർ പി എസ് 
So TSH nu varena danda ne shaft torque is equal to output in watts. This P divided by this 2 pi n. So point 1 by 2 pi nu varena namma This point 1 pi n. So output in watts by speed in RPS. So if speed is in revolution per minute, just divide it by 60 to get in RPM. So 2 pi, uh, 60 by 2 pi will give 9.55 output in watts by speed. So the equation for shaft torque is 9.55 into output power in watts divided by speed. Okay. So there are two torques, armature torque and shaft torque. Remember these two equations. Now we are going to derive the equation for speed of a DC motor. We all know the equation for back EMF is in terms of flux, number of volts and speed and the number of total conductors and arm armature parallel path. If we know these values, we can find out EB or uh, from this equation you can find out N. N is equal to EB by 5 into 60A by ZB RP. Okay, from this you you know that this these are uh, means 60 a number of parallel path total number of conductors and number of poles whole are the constant values. So in your term constant then so you can write it as k so n is equal to k e b by phi that is speed is directly proportional to back emf and inversely proportional to flux here. The back EMF EB is also given by, we know the equation for back EMF supply voltage in the armature voltage drop minus theta namka EB gitu. So V minus IARA is EB. So substitute this equation on speed equation V minus IARA by phi into 60A by ZP. And from this you can, you can write and proportional to EB by phi. But speed is proportional to here you can directly proportional to our input voltage and armature current and mm, this and inversely proportional to flux. So the speed of the motor directly proportional to back EMF and inversely proportional to flux. So you should note these two points. Okay. And speed of a DC series motor. Now first we consider a series motor having the field winding which is connected in series with the armature winding. Then for a series motor, we are considering two cases. At the first case, uh, let us assume armature current is IA1. At particular armature current, the flux produced on that field winding is 5 1 and speed of rotation is N1 in RPM. Okay. And we are considering another case having armature current IA2 and the flux proportional to that is 5 2 and the speed of the motor is N2 RPM. Okay, as N proportional to EB by 5, we have already derived that speed is proportional to EB by 5. Then we can write N, N first case N1, second case N2. So we can write the equation as N2 by N1 is equal to, here in first case N1 is proportional to EB1 by 5 1. In second case N2 is proportional to EB2 by 5 2. So we can write N2 by N1 is equal to EB2 by EB1 into 5 1 by 5 2. As the field winding is connected in series with armature flux proportional to IA uh, and before saturation of magnetic poles. Okay. That is magnetic saturation somewhere in flux constant I before that value flux is proportional to armature current and so we can write for a series motor this equation can be written as N2 by N1 is equal to EB2 by EB1 into IA1 by IA2. So phi is proportional to IA so we can write as IA1 by IA2 as the equation. Similarly, we have equation for a shunt motor, the speed of a shunt motor for different cases. If we have a full load, we will speed and corresponding armature current. If we have a particular load, a half load, a 3 by 4 load, we will have a full case. And that is speed and we will have a full load. We will have a full load by using this equation. We will have two different cases. That is, in a particular case, we will have a full load. 
this is this is the value for uh, flux nu tharuvana in at the second case you have given the flux and armature kani but you don't know the speed then you can find out the second speed by considering this equation if it is dc series or shunt motor okay so let us assume speed of a dc shunt motor dc shunt motor means field winding is connected in parallel to the armature winding okay so first case we are considering let us assume i a1 is the armature current and phi1 is the flux per pole and n1 is the speed in rpm and consider the second case particular another load illulla or case consider cheyana full load la irikilla vera or load consider cheya and the current is i a2 and corresponding flux is phi2 and the speed of rotation is n2 rpm we all know and proportional to eb by phi but it is here it is a ഷണ് മോട്ടർ ഷണ് മോട്ടറിൽ നമുക്കറിയാം ദ ഫീൽഡ് വൈൻഡിങ് ഇസ് കണക്റ്റഡ് ഇൻ പാരലൽ വിത്ത് ദ ആർമേച്ചർ സോ ഫീൽഡ് കറണ്ട് ആൻഡ് ഹെൻസ് ഫ്ലക്സ് ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് കോൺസ്റ്റന്റ് ആയിരിക്കും സോ ഫൈവ് ടു ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ഫൈവ് വൺ ആവാനാണ് ചാൻസ് സോ വി ക്യാൻ കൺസിഡർ എൻ ടു ബൈ എൻ വൺ ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ഇ ബി ടു ബൈ ഇ ബി വൺ ഇൻ ടു ഫൈവ് വൺ ബൈ ഫൈവ് ടു ദിസ് ഇസ് എ ജനറൽ ഇക്വേഷൻ but in case of dc shunt motor ഫൈ വൺ ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് ഫൈവ് ടു ഇൻ ഈക്വൽ ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കും സോ വി ക്യാൻ എലിമിനേറ്റ് ദിസ് പോർഷൻ സോ ഗ്രണ്ട് ഈക്വൽ ആവുമ്പോൾ ഇത് എലിമിനേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാം സോ എൻ ടു ബൈ എൻ വൺ ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ഇ ബി ടു ബൈ ഇ ബി വൺ ഫോർ ഡി സി ഷണ് മോട്ടോ ഷണ് മോട്ടർ ആവുമ്പോൾ ഫ്ലക്സ് കോൺസ്റ്റന്റ് ആയതുകൊണ്ട് നമ്മൾ ആ ടേം എലിമിനേറ്റ് ചെയ്യും സോ എൻ ടു ബൈ എൻ വൺ ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ഇ ബി ടു ബൈ ഇ ബി വൺ സീരീസ് മോട്ടർ ആയിരിക്കുമ്പോൾ ഫ്ലക്സ് ആർമേച്ചർ കറണ്ടിന് പ്രപ്പോർഷണൽ ആണ് സോ വി കൺസിഡർ ഇറ്റ് ആസ് ഐ എ വൺ ബൈ ഐ എ ടു എന്നാണ് എടുക്കുക ഓക്കെ now we are going to do some problems so uh, numerical problems uh, related to speed and torque so first annoda njan idu vare padicha or equations ella kuda annoda rewind okay so here uh, first eb back emf kanalo ningalku back emf inde equation ariyam that is induced emf so 5 pn by 16 into z by a and another equation for back emf and then in terms of volt input voltage v minus i a r i and power developed in uh, dc motor is 2 pi n t by 60 in, th- in terms of torque power developed equation number can do this 2 pi n t by 60 unit of power is in watts and n divided by 60 n is in rpm and p is equal to 2 pi n t watts if n is in rps okay revolution per second learning divided by 60 venda athru ini armature torque nalla equation that is 1 by 2 pi phi p i a into z by a just remember this equation or we can write it as 0.159 phi p i a into z by a if speed is in revolution per second ഇനി ആർമേച്ചർ ടോർക്കിന് ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ സിക്സ്റ്റി കൂടെ ചെയ്യുവാണെങ്കിൽ നയൻ പോയിന്റ് ഫൈവ് 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 പി ഐ എൻ ടു സെഡ് ബൈ എ ഇഫ് എൻ ഇസ് ഇൻ ആർ പി എം ഇനി ഷാഫ്റ്റ് ടോർക്ക് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ നമുക്കറിയാം ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് ഇൻ വോട്ട്സ് ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ സ്പീഡ് ആണ് ടു പൈ എൻ ചെയ്യാം ആംഗുലർ വലു ടു പൈ എൻ കൊണ്ട് ഡിവൈഡ് ചെയ്യാം സോ പോയിന്റ് വൺ ഫൈവ് നയൻ ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് ഇൻ വോട്ട്സ് ബൈ എൻ ഇസ് ദ ഷാഫ് ടോർക്കിൻ uh when considering speed in revolution per second it, uh, if it is rpm avana ge endeyanam 2 pi n by 60 cheyana so 60 by 2 pi nu varu so 60 by 2 pi you will get 9.5 pi output in watts by n okay so this is the equation for shaft torque and um uh, to find out the speed of a dc motor eb n proportional to eb by phi aanu nariyam കറക്റ്റ് ഈക്വൽ ഈ വാല്യൂ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഇ ബി ബൈ ഫൈവ് ഇൻറ്റു ആ കോൺസ്റ്റന്റ് വാല്യൂസ് കൂടെ കൺസിഡർ ചെയ്യണം ഈ ഇക്വേഷനിൽ കോൺസ്റ്റൻസ് എന്താ വരുന്നത് സിക്സ്റ്റി ബൈ സിക്സ്റ്റി എ ബൈ സെഡ് പി അതുകൂടെ എടുക്കാം ഈ ഇക്വേഷനിൽ നിന്നാണ് നമ്മൾ സ്പീഡിന്റെ ഇക്വേഷൻ എഴുതിയേക്കുന്നത് ജസ്റ്റ് ഈ ഇക്വേഷൻ അറിയാമെങ്കിൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് സ്പീഡിന്റെ ഇക്വേഷൻ എഴുതാൻ പറ്റും എൻ ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ഇ ബി ബൈ ഫൈവ് സിക്സ്റ്റി എ ബൈ സെഡ് പി ആർ പി എം ഓക്കെ സോ ആൻഡ് വി നോ ദ ഷോർട്ട് ഫോം എൻ പ്രപ്പോർഷണൽ ടു ഇ ബി ബൈ ഫൈവ് and if you have two cases n2 by n1 is equal to eb2 by eb1 into phi1 by phi2 ee or case ortu vekka ee equation idile series motor anengi 
phi 1 is proportional to i a 1 and phi 2 is proportional to i a 2 out. If it is a shun motor flux almost constant diagram, well, either phi 1 equal to phi 2 diagram. So we can eliminate this term. For a shun motor, n2 by n1 is equal to e b2 by e b1. Any torque in the equation will be work at torque is proportional to flux into armature current. In and equations important nana torque proportional to phi i a and n proportional to e b by phi. Important characteristics are determined in the equations. Anna. So you should remember these two equations. T a is proportional to phi i a and n proportional to e b by phi. Let us consider one problem. Okay. I'll read the problem. The armature of a four pole given data cell adhika, Okay, and also draw the single line diagram of that motor. Shun motor on the other end. It's a DC shun motor. So draw a DC shun motor by connecting field winding in parallel with the armature winding. And the armature winding in parallel I to connect with the um, consider. Okay. So the armature of a four pole. So number of pole is four and the voltage is 220 volt and lap wound. Lap wound means number of parallel paths is equal to 4. A is equal to 4. If it is wave wound, A is equal to 2. So here it is lap wound and has a four, uh, 540 conductor. So Z is 540 uh, and it takes current of 32 ampere. Taking current means load current. This I L is 32 ampere and it supply me from the sun and develops output power. Output power is given as in kilowatt, 5.59 kilowatt. You have to take it on watts by calculation, 5,595 watts is the power. And the field winding takes, IF is given, field winding current is given, 1 ampere and armature resistance is 0.09 ohm. And the flux per pole is 30 milliweber. It is given in milliweber, so multiply it by 10 raised to minus 3 to get in Weber. Okay, so these are the given values. Calculate the speed and shaft torque. In a speed and we can get the equation arena. E B is equal to 5 P N Z by A. This is the terms we can do N can do So first you have to find out E B. E B is on the E B can do the equation we B minus I A R A. So, I A R A M E equation is substituted in the e equation in the N. Any shaft power can shaft torque can do it in the arena. Shaft power arena. Shaft power output power is equal to 2 pi and TSS. Equation. So, shaft torque is equal to the power divided by 2 pi n. N in RPS is equal to 2 pi and TSS. By 60 J. Then you will get a Newton meter. Okay. So, that is what we do. E B is what we do. I A is what we do. I A is what I L is what we do. Field current is what we do. So, the total input current is I L. A part is going to armature winding and another part is going to field winding. So, I A is this input current minus field current. So, I L minus I F J. So, you will get 32 minus 1 is 31 ampere as armature current. Substitute in this equation, E B is equal to B minus I A R A, you will get a value. Then, E B get and J M. You can substitute in this equation, E B is equal to 5 P N into Z by A. E equation will substitute A. Then, you will get the speed N from this in R P S. R P M will come in the divided by 16. 5 P N by 16. Okay. Then, shaft torque and we give 2 pi n TSH. And that's shaft torque and we give it to you. Because the output power is 5,595 watts divided by substitute these values of speed also. Then you will get in Newton meter. This is the shaft torque. So, you have find out speed and shaft torque from these two equations. Now, the second example. Determine the developed torque. Developed torque is the a torque developed in armature. That is armature torque. And a shaft torque. Shaft torque is the losses minus the shaft is the useful torque. This is the one that is the TA, TSS. Okay. 
then voltage is given input voltage v is given as 220 volt and number of pole is 4 pole and wave bound that is a is equal to 2 and the dc series motor so it is given as series motor that means armature winding is connected in series with the field winding okay so in your diagram and it has 800 armature conductors so write it as z is equal to 800 and supplying a load of 8.2 kilovolt so power is 8200 watts and taking 45 ampere so your input current i i a is i uh, i l no bar in the area because it's a series motor so i a is 45 ampere and flux is given as 25 milli weber so multiply it with 10, 10 raised to minus 3 and it is given as resistance of armature circuit including series coiled winding resistance so r a plus r series is given as 0.6 ohm in inam kariyam armature torque and equation 0.1595 PIA into Z by A if N is in RPS. So, we have all values for all the flux is under tender, number of poles, armature current is given, Z is known, A is known. So, you can find out from this equation. And to get TSH, you should know what 2 pi N TSH power are. That right? is shaft power. Right? Shaft power is under tender law 8200. And speed are speed is written in the way in the 2 pi n TSH and a shaft to torque is written in the way in the power of n is under the way in the way in the EB equation EB is equal to 5 pn into z by a it is in the end under the way in the way in the way in the way so you have to find out EB from this equation so V minus I a R a is equal to so you can find out EB is equal to uh, v, EB is equal to V minus IRA. From this, you can get EB. EB getting you can substitute that value in this equation and you can find out N from this equation. Then substitute the value of N in RPS on this equation, then you will get TSH value. So, shaft torque in Newton meter. Unit of torque is always Newton meter. Then, Next question, a DC shunt motor supplied from a 400 volt supply takes an armature current of 25 ampere. So first consider and runs at 900 rpm. So at case 1 it is given uh, that 400 volt is the voltage and the current is 25 ampere and flux per, uh, flux per pull out and just to know that back you again. Calculate the speed at which it will run if supplied volt uh, supplied from a 230 volt. That is 400 volt. 230 volt to learn number of supply for the other angle. It takes a current of 15 ampere. That is V1 and V2 is 230 volt. IA1 25 iron. IA2 is 15 ampere. I. And the, res the resistance of armature is 0.8 ohm. Okay, assume that flex per pole at 230 volt is reduced to 75 percentage so first condition the flux per pole we consider it as 5 1 and the flux per pole here it is uh, given as 75 percentage of the initial flux so 0 0.7551 neta. now in, at the second case flux per pole is 0 0.7551 and the speed at the first condition is n1 is 900 rpm now you have to calculate the speed at second case n2 are we know the equation for dc shunt motor n2 by n1 is equal to eb2 by eb1 into 51 by 52 eb1 no eb2 are we first we have to substitute this equation we have to substitute this equation 51 and 52 is one condition that is 51 and 52 is 0 0.7551. This is EB1 and EB2. We can add N2 and N1 is known. So EB1 is V1 minus IA1 RA. So you, you can substitute V1 and IA1 RA on this equation. And EB2, V2 minus IA2 RA. And write this equation. Then substitute these values of EB2 and EB1 on this equation. So, 5 1 will be cancel each other and by apply, uh, by giving the value of N1 on this equation, you can find out N2 in RPM, 688.4 RPM. Okay, and the next question. 
Example 4. The armature current of a series motor is 60 ampere when on full load. If the load is adjusted such that the armature current decreases to 40 ampere. Okay, up in end cases on the month's line of first case armature current is 60 ampere. So case 1, IA1 is 60 ampere, at case 2, IA2 is 40 ampere. And find the new torque, torque on one way another, expressed as percentage of the full load torque. Full, first case is the full load line of the current. So full load torque is T1 and the current T1 is full load torque. And the flux of a current, flux for a current of 40 ampere is, 70% of that when current is 60 ampere. That is 5 1 is the flux per pole in first condition. Then second condition law, it is 75, 70%. So you can write it as 0.751. Flux per pole of second case is 0.751. We have torque in the equation. Torque is proportional to phi i a. So we can write as full load torque is proportional to phi 1 into i a 1. And the second case torque is T2, which is proportional to phi 2 and i a 2. So phi 2 in terms of phi 1 is 0.751 into i a 2. So T2 by TFL, T2 by TFL, which is equal to 0.751 i a 2 by phi 1 i a 1. In the equation, then you can substitute phi 1 cancel the bones and substitute the values of IA2 and IA1 in this equation, then you will get the value as 0.466. So we can write T2 is equal to 0.466 TFL. That means 46 percentage of full load torque. So T2 new torque is 46.6 percentage of full load torque. Next one. Example 5. A 220 volt DC motor is running at a speed of 1000 rpm and draws 100 ampere. Okay. So given that as voltage is 220 volt and speed is 1000 rpm, armature current is IA 100 ampere. Calculate at what speed the motor will run when developing half the torque. Total resistance of armature and field is 0.1 ohm. Assume that the magnetic field is unsaturated. Okay, so voltage is given 220 volt. A speed N1 is given and a current IA1 is given 100 ampere. Calculate at what speed of the motor will run when developing half the torque. That is first torque T1. Now T2 is 1 by 2 of T1. So you have to find out the second case speed N2 and you have given one thing, phi1, RA is given armature, total resistance of RA and field is given 0.10. Okay. And assume that magnetic field is unsaturated. Magnetic field is saturated Allah engil nam kariya, phi is proportional to IA1 phi, uh, phi 1 is proportional to IA1 and phi 2 is proportional to IA2 on nam kariya. If it is before saturation. So, nam torque in the equation area, TA is proportional to phi IA. So, T1, first condition nam T1 which is proportional to phi 1 into IA1 on the two. Nam kariya, it is unsaturated case, so phi 1 is proportional to IA1, so you can write it as IA1 into IA1 is equal to IA1 square. And what is torque uh, second, at second case, which is T2 proportional to phi 2 IA2. It, we can write it as IA2 into IA2, that is IA2 square. In number, then the end, the end torque the ratio, T2 by T1 is equal to IA2 by IA1, that is equal to end, the end, 1 by 2 I reckon. So, what will be the uh, from this equation? We know that the 1 by 2 are now. So, IA2 square should be equal to what is our uh, IA? Uh, IA is given as first case uh, 100 ampere. So, IA1 square in the other IA2 square by IA1 square is 1 by 2. Anangi. You substitute the IA1 value 10 uh, 100 into 100 by 2. 
notice that is 5000 is the value for IA2 square. From this you can find out second case armature current IA2 is 70.71 ampere. So IA1 and IA2 ipo area. In a number can do and this equation is substituted speed and we can angle EB1 and EB2 area. Speed in the equation is the area. So we can do area. N2 by N1, N1 area, N2 under the canning, EB2, EB1 area. Alle. 5 and 5 cancel the bone and number condition than the thunder means other the values and number can do it. I even I a two five proportional to I even on a five to proportional to I a two on an area. I even in the I a two value number can do it. So in a number carry under the EB1 and EB2 on. So find out the EB value by using B minus I A R equation. So in first case, EB1 is equal to B1 minus I A1 R A. Substitute the values, you will get the value, and EB2 is equal to B2 minus I A2 R A, and we will get the EB2 value. So by substituting these two values, you have got calculated. Then N2 can be calculated. N1 and the value, we have got that. That is thousand RPM. Upon N2 is equal to N1 into this value, EB2 by EB1 into 5 1 by 5 2. 5 1 5 2 num karyam, IA1 num, IA2 num equal an. IA1 is 100 ampere, IA2 is 70.71 ampere nuk dita na pa substitute ya. So you will get N2 is 1433. So this are the values. In a mumbur case chay the dhala. Now, let's look at the value of the armature torque in the value of the armature torque is 286.2 Newton meter. Let's look at the shaft torque in the value of the shaft torque is 270. That's why the armature torque is the shaft torque. The armature torque is the shaft torque. The armature torque is the loss of the shaft torque. The armature torque is the remaining part of the shaft torque. So, these are the examples. So, Study these equations which is important, uh, speed equation and torque equations. Okay. Thank you.